Holy crap. This guy's big. His body's shining right there. Jesus, this is really... Right when they did this, this guy came with the body cam. That came out. That's how they do it over here. Look at that. <laughs> They're getting closer and closer. Oh, look at that. They're coming to me. Oh, look at this, guys. Look, 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 look. What? What's up, guys? Your boy, Jay Fishy here. And guys, man, uh, I know you guys know Florida as a sunshine state. It's supposed to be kind of like the state with the hottest weather. But hey, recently, we've been having this like extremely cold weather for longer periods than we're used to. So um, today, uh, it's probably the coldest that I remember it being in the past maybe month. And uh, I'm, I'm out here and um, it's actually the middle of the day because I was thinking, I told myself, if the water temperatures are cold, that means when the sun is probably at its highest, the fish are probably actually gonna start moving a little rather than in the morning or at uh, in the afternoon when the sun is pretty much gone. So I'm testing that theory out today. Uh, we're gonna be throwing uh, all the order fishers that we have with us. I still don't have no live bait. Um, all the reports recently in my area have uh, basically said that, you know, it's it's really uh, the plastics are working over live bait. So we're gonna continue on with our artificial uh, experience and just, yeah, throw as many artificials as we can and see what we can get on, guys. Hopefully something a little different than trout and ladyfish, although I will take those no matter what, but um, I'm still looking for something, you know, like the red or something. But hey, when they start showing up, I know they're gonna start biting. So let's uh, see what we can catch today. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the water. All right, guys. We're rigged up and ready to go. If I know anything about these spots when it's low tide, it's that uh, they're very slippery. You guys might have seen in one of my more recent episodes, I fell. So let me uh, attempt at getting down here. I wonder if somebody put these sticks there for a reason. All right, here we go. First cast. Uh, I like to get my line wet a little. Let me see how good it's gonna cast. My slam shady on there, but for now I'm good. Like I said, it's really just a theory that I'm testing here. Basically that when it's cold, you know, when the sun's up, it's probably the uh, best time for for it to be warm I guess maybe the fish will take it as an opportunity to eat and then go back to being you know like lethargic and not moving while it's cold so we'll see if that's a if that theory is true or not but yeah let me see if I can get something here <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> they, they literally just came and did a U turn in front of me. That's insane. I can't even believe what they just did. Wow. So much for fishing here. Come on, man. You gotta be, you gotta be joking right now. That is insane. Well, if there was any fish here, they ain't here no more. I'll tell you that much. Oh, man. Guys, like, come on, seriously? <laughs> he literally looked me straight in my face and just continued to do a U-turn. Could have at least said, hey, man, sorry about that. You know, something. Nothing. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> as you guys can tell, with that, they are uh, probably ain't going to get a bite here no more. So let me uh, move spots, unfortunately. <laughs> We just got here too. Can't be more than 10 minutes. So yeah, let me find another spot real quick. I can't believe that. Wow. Don't do that guys. If, if you're on a boat, come on now. At least have the decency to say, hey man, sorry about that. You know, something. But hey, it is what it is. I don't own the water. So let me find another spot. Walking up on this spot. Let's see if uh, there's any hiding over here. This is where, uh, this is actually where I found a sheep's head not too long ago. Oh, let me give it this last cast to see if anything will come up. If not, we'll, uh, we'll go find another little spot. 
All right, guys. Well, after rewatching this clip back now that I'm editing, I kind of realized that the guy who approached me definitely was not in his right mind. I'm not exactly sure what he was up to, but it had to be no good. Um, he just kind of was like acting weird, walking around the car and just looking shady. And I was like, man, what, what's this guy doing? So I kind of stared him down to let him know I'm watching him. And uh, next thing you know, he starts approaching me. So then I was like, okay, maybe he's just going to ask about the fishing. Maybe he's a fisherman. But uh, once he got behind me, I realized he was recording me for about five minutes. And I kind of didn't want to say anything, but then I was like, let me turn around. And that's when I was like, what's up, man? And uh, you guys will see what happened. But the guy got hostile pretty quick and I didn't even do anything wrong to him. I didn't even know who he is. Watch this. Trying this one spot out. That always looks super good to me, but uh, I don't know. I've never had luck here. Oh yeah. You fish? Uh -huh. No. You know fish? Huh? You're a funny guy, man. What? You're a funny guy. <laughs> what the heck? What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen that. That's crazy. I just got a... This guy is threat, uh, not threatening me, but I don't know what he thinks I'm doing. It's crazy. That's insane. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna get out of here because I don't want no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Um, yeah. I don't know what just happened uh so i just pulled up to start fishing there and uh, i noticed that guy had his car parked off to the side a little just in general looking shady and i was kind of like whatever you know i don't ever judge people for how they look or anything like that so i was just fishing doing my own thing and um now uh i'm i look back and he's kind of walking around and uh he's walking around my car so i was kind of like I don't like that you know so i'm just kind of watching him to see what he's doing and <laughs> out of nowhere i get like basically confused for i don't know if he thought i was a cop or something i'm not a i don't like to look for trouble like that so i basically I'm, i wasn't catching any fish there so i just told myself you know what let me get out of here because i don't know what's happening but uh yeah at the end there he started kind of cussing me out and telling me that i was a, you know all these things but hey guys you know i'm all about positivity so i'm not getting into that um, uh, I was just like, you know what? Let me get in my car get out of here, move to another spot. Um, and yeah, cause I don't want no problems. So <laughs> let's get the fishing and see if we can get a, a catch or something. Cause that was insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I don't even know what to really say about that guys. I really don't, but Hey, let's get back in the water. Uh, I see most people don't really like this spot. I don't know why. Uh, I've caught some nice fish over here. As you guys can tell, it gets super deep right here. So let's uh, give it a shot. And uh, I'm being quiet because there's a lot of people around me. I just don't want to, uh, you know. 
First off, I don't want to scare the fish away. It's very quiet out here. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened with that guy. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what he was talking about. He said something happened earlier, and now I'm showing up with a body cam. Like, dude, <laughs> I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just trying to make some fishing videos. Oh, uh, but I also didn't feel like I needed to explain myself. So... I just didn't get into it with him at all. Just wanted to get out of there. <laughs> Ooh, you guys seen that, right? Oh, something's on my fish. Something kept smacking this lampshade here. Yeah, I don't know what that guy was talking about. <laughs> I almost want to rewatch my footage to see what... He was, like, recording my car. That's what threw me off, because I was like, dude, what is this guy doing? <laughs> but uh, he definitely had me confused for... I don't know. I'm assuming a cop. I think something happened probably here at the park that I wasn't aware of. And I'm assuming that's what uh, he was on about. I have no clue. Like I said, I, did, I wasn't really interested either because uh, I knew, you know, I know I haven't done anything wrong. So I was like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but that was crazy. I was, I was honestly kind of scared that he was going to push me in the water. That's why I... If you guys noticed once i realized he was walking up on me i thought he was just being friendly coming over to talk you know like maybe he's a fisherman he wanted to know if i caught anything but uh <laughs> once i realized he was kind of talking a little crazy i was like yeah let me get out of here <laughs> that was insane then i thought maybe he thought i was recording him like you know because i know a lot of people aren't too fond of gopros on you know but uh i don't intentionally ever record anybody that doesn't want to be recorded or whatever so but yeah that was crazy <laughs> oh anyways back to the fishing <laughs> man still haven't got a bite at all but uh i will say it doesn't i can't hear i don't hear anybody getting bites either so could be the cold weather, like I said. It's always an experiment when things like weather change around here. You never know. Jeez, that bird scared me. <laughs> All right. Look around the pier. I don't know if you guguys watch my videos, but, uh, or all my videos, I should say. <laughs> Look at that raccoon over there. Trying to find himself some lunch in the middle of the day that's a rare sight they typically don't come out until the sun's gone water's murky uh i found a snook under this pier not too long ago so that's why i always like to look around first be as quiet as i can all right let's see if there's anything over here There it is. I knew they'd be around. What do we got here? I think it's a trout. No. Lady. Definitely a lady. Man, she choked this thing down too. <laughs> Let's go. First catch of the day. Oh no. Don't do that. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> that could have been very bad. I could have lost my lure there. Look at that guy. He's choked it down. Give me my slim shady back. Oh, there it is. First catch of the day. Ladyfish. I had a feeling they'd be on this side. It's the way the current is going. Man, that uh, raccoon over there would love that uh, ladyfish. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, I can now say my uh, hands have that fishy smell on them. 
yeah one thing i've noticed about the fish here is they really like current so see all that current coming in right here this pass i bet they're stacked up in it oh i think i got eaten again just now oh yeah yeah they're in there another lady oh she got off <laughs> or he it's funny i just say she because it's ladyfish but who knows gotta be careful with my paddle tail here now and my leader those ladyfish will free you up and take your uh definitely take your your paddle tail off too i've had that happen yeah let's see if uh maybe they got a couple trout in between them <laughs> going on here something's not feeling right come here mr ladyfish just give me back my slam shady you can go oh <laughs> i think i had that guy foul hooked. hold on buddy i'll get you back there it is another little ladyfish <laughs> oh man say what you want about ladyfish but i enjoy catching anything especially with how hard i've been looking for them today they're almost getting attacked by a bystander for being mistaken for I don't even know what. We finally found a fish. <laughs> oh man. What a day today was. <laughs> that was insane. Guys, I wish you guys could have seen my face. I was so confused. I was like, what is this guy talking about? I thought he was going to come up to me and ask me like, Hey man, any luck? You know, like what normal people do at this park. Instead, I was completely confused by him asking or saying things like, oh, he's got a body cam on and I don't even know. <laughs> oh, see that guys? That's what typically happens with these ladyfish. You hook them and they, uh, they start jumping over there, getting off. Like I said, one thing very important to do when uh, you got, you're on a ladyfish bite is check that leader. Make sure you're not getting frayed. I have very light leader on, so probably after, that's probably about the fifth ladyfish I hooked. After the tenth, I bet. Oh, this guy took it. Oh, this guy's staying down. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that. See? <laughs> and this is why I'm glad I have the GoPro because... I can at least show you guys, you know, them jumping. Back when I wasn't using the GoPro, I just almost hooked myself. When I wasn't using the GoPro, um, this happened to me almost every trip where I'd come out here and hook up, but they'd shake off and there was no real way of me proving that to you guys. Now, you guys can see it firsthand. They're being very aggressive though, because they're taking it. like. You guys seen how many spots? What the heck? What was that? Guys, is that a, is that a snook? That was crazy. Guys, let me know if you know what would have done that. It like came up two times to like eat. What in the world is going on today? It looked thick, like a snook. There's no way that was a tarpon, was it? I, I'm so, I'm still so new to like what species do, and you know, that was crazy. It scared the heck out of me. I'm trying to see if I can spot it again. Wow, that was insane. Maybe it was coming after my ladyfish. I'm pretty sure I'm starting to attract the ladyfish toward the pier. Look at that. It's funny too. It seems like the ladyfish might have moved. Something scared them away. I kind of hope that wasn't a tarpon. Because if that was a tarpon, I don't know if this little light uh, rod would handle a tarpon fight. <laughs> Never caught one, so I don't know how it is, but... I hear everybody say that it's one of the craziest fights you could ever feel. 
That was insane, guys. It just popped two times, like, and it looks super thick. I mean, not as thick as like a dolphin, obviously, but. Did you get off of it? Might finally get another one up here. Come on up. Don't be a. Oh, this is a nice one. That he choked it down. You weren't getting off, buddy. Sorry. Oof. Perfect hook set. Man, somebody's caught this guy before. <laughs> Look at that. Get out of here, buddy. What's going on down here? Am I loose? I think somebody left some uh, fish bodies. Like they filleted them and just dropped the bodies back in. All right. Well, we found something. It's always fun when you can come out here and find something. Oof, that guy really took it. Ooh, this might be a trout. Nah. Another lady, I'm pretty sure. Animal. Yeah, lady. Come here, buddy. Don't tell me you're the same one again. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Nah, not the same one. <laughs> Man, I'm actually hooking him good today. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get you back if you uh, give me a second. Just give me my slam shady. That's all I want. I always forget ladyfish don't have teeth. They have these like serrated teeth. Look at that. <laughs> get back in there. Slimy things. Check my leader. Leader seems good. But yeah, guys. It's a fun little quick trip. Uh, like I said, I wanted to test out that theory I had about the. Uh, cold weather and in, in the middle of the sun unfortunately it looks like it looks like oh there it goes again <laughs> man those ladyfish are piled up there uh, unfortunately it looks like it might be true however it looks like only ladyfish are here today because um this same little area where i'm casting and catching them it's sometimes a good uh trout bite if the trout bite is uh, good, they would be in here too, so. Because it's only ladyfish at the moment. It's a nicer one. Ah. <laughs> Guys, those uh, ladyfish love the shake off. And I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't mind it, believe me, with how uh, slimy those things are. Just check my leader. We got a little fray, but should be all right for now would be very annoying to lose this jig head guys these jig heads are expensive you know i just started fishing so i don't know if at one point they were cheap but man it's, a, it's like seven bucks for three of them so uh you know if i was catching snook or anything else i wouldn't mind but losing my tackle for a ladyfish it's a little annoying <laughs> so i always like to check that out that leader line make sure it's not frayed the trout they were good around this time and uh then came the uh redfish for a good bit not for too long and then a couple of snook around here oh also the sheep's head were around when the trout was. <laughs> i seen this guy come up and eat that is this a trout finally no it's the ladyfish Yep, just a lady. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on. Get me all slimy now. There it is. Look at the shiny nissel. Poor man's tarpon. <laughs> I think I found him again. They moved over a little to the right here. Yes. See, look, here's a bigger one. Come here, buddy. You're acting like a trout, but I know you're a ladyfish. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a ladyfish. You can just tell by their skinny bodies. Man, they swallow these things. Ooh, probably the biggest one of the day. Come here. Come here. Yeah, definitely the biggest one of the day. 
<laughs> there it is, guys. Get back in there, buddy. Ugh. Ugh. Definitely slimy, that's for sure. Let's do one more cast. See if I can get a real nice one. Along those mangroves is super awesome. Ah, nope, I can't get it that far. <laughs> I think my line's starting to get old. It's one thing I'm very bad at doing is uh, switching my line when it's finally time. I'll ride the line out until it looks super uh, fuzzy, which is bad because it breaks. Even though it's braided, it still gets wore out. Yeah, I had a couple of swipes there, but pretty sure they were ladyfish-esque. So, yeah, let's move to a couple more spots. See if uh, see if we can get another uh, species on the list. Let's see if there's anything over here. I typically have to wade to this spot, but uh, being that it's low tide, ooh, that was nice actually. The wind is helping me get it way out there. find trout here a lot too oh no there's a dolphin I don't think you guys can see that to the right a little dolphin just came up it's probably chasing all the ladyfish that I had found over there <laughs> oh I just got smacked right here dang I missed that wow something just smacked it Oh, you guys see the dolphin there now? Hopefully I don't hook up on this cast, because if I do, I might have a dolphin chase me. I don't think I've ever had a dolphin. Uh... Ooh, look at that, guys. <laughs> Birds flying in the background, dolphin coming up. Florida wildlife for you there. It's awesome. And even in these canals like this. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> They're getting closer and closer. Oh, look at that. They're coming to me. Oh, look at this, guys. Look, 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 look. What? <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> They're right in front of me. Holy crap, look what they caused. That's crazy. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Holy crap, that was a sick. Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad I had the camera on for that. That was crazy. <laughs> Look at them go. Man, you gotta love the wildlife here in Florida. If you guys aren't from here, just know that's not uncommon <laughs> at all. <laughs> but uh, it's awesome when they, when they get that close. That was close. Like, they were right here. They caused this water to go crazy. I will say, because they just came through real quick, might mean they didn't catch anything. I wonder if the reason they like went through here so fast is because they have to because it's such shallow water. That would make sense. Or maybe they're just having fun. <sighs> I hope the camera actually picked that up pretty well. That was sick. <laughs> Maybe a dolphin don't like ladyfish either. I doubt that. <laughs> Highly doubt that. <laughs> yeah. Guys, between the boaters and the dolphins and people attacking me in the middle of the freaking street. Wow. Uh, what a what an eventful day today was <laughs> and i mean that not in the fishing way which is crazy i cannot believe what <laughs> has happened today already <laughs> but you know what's crazy the most normal thing that happened today was that dolphin show right now yeah. <laughs> that's insane but anyways let me get to another spot keep casting see if we can find something else well as you guys can tell the sun's already starting to set uh wind picked up crazy so I really don't have too many choices anymore. I decided just to come back to this pier real quick. See if maybe where those uh, ladyfish were running. As you guys can tell, the tide's coming up. So looks like looks like the dolphins might have been around here again. The tide's coming up pretty high. 
So maybe something's coming through this. Uh, you guys see all this current here. There's a chance. Let's try it. Again, I pretty much kept the slam shady tight on. You guys can hear it. This uh, out of here. Uh, okay. I will say I'm still a little shook about that situation earlier with that guy. Guys, it just sucks to like, you know, feel kind of in fear of like being at your local spot. There it goes. Oh, it is a ladyfish. Okay. But yeah, it's like, like, come on, man. Like, I'm just coming out here to have fun. You know, why, why are you messing with people who did nothing to you? Like, I didn't do nothing to that guy. I literally just showed up the fish. And he's over here threatening me. And ow. So, yeah, a little. Just, it's crazy how this world's gotten. And then, you know, you hear all these things on the news and all this stuff. So, it's like, yeah. I, it was a scary moment for a second. Just... You know oh god this one oh. probably another lady for sure man that thing really took it though <laughs> holy crap i think it's following it still wow if i wasn't holding on to my rod there i would have lost my rod that was insane but yeah <laughs> again just like it's like man like, come on dude what are you what are you on are you who knows i mean that guy might have been on something made him think that i was you know something i wasn't and guys you know a lot of people wrong place wrong time it's a scary world man can't even fish in peace anymore <laughs> But as you guys can tell, I handled the situation like I think anybody should in that sense because you just never know what that guy's plans really were. You know, just walk away. Just walk away, guys. Oh, look at this. Probably the biggest one of the day. Come here, buddy. Taking some drag here. Where you at? Ah! <laughs> I was trying to get that guy up, but that was actually some decent uh, little footage of him jumping there. You guys seen how big it was. It was a nice one. Probably the biggest one of the day. The other ones weren't that big. Yeah, let's... Uh, you know what? One more uh, catch and then we'll get out of here because it's definitely just a bunch of ladyfish. I missed that one. Man, they're so quick at... Uh, if you don't set that hook, you're losing these fish, guys. Yeah, let me see if I can get one more up here. If I can, that'll be the uh, time to get out of here because it's been a nice little fun day out here. And if I can't, well, you guys will probably just see me for a little outro. What the heck? <laughs> that was another lady who just, I wonder if that was the same one. want it I feel them there but maybe that big one that bit last there warned them do not bite the slam shady colored <laughs> paddle tail paddle tail is pretty beat up now it's actually been beat up since the last trip when I was catching those big uh the huge ladyfish Holy crap, this guy's big. He's probably the biggest one. Wow, he's going insane under that water. Wait, is this? Oh yeah, there's a lady. Look at that, you can see his body shining right there. Jesus, this is one of those big ones I was telling you about. Come here, buddy. Oh, <laughs> this guy is huge. <laughs> This is exactly the size I was telling you guys about. Hold on, buddy. Barely hooked him too, look at that. <laughs> Under the mouth. Come on, let go of it. <sighs> look at that. 
<laughs> Definitely the biggest one of the day. Well, there it is. I called it there. Catch one more big one, and we did it. So, all right, guys, let me wash my hands off somewhere because those guys are super slimy. But you guys seen it? Just out here with the slam shady, uh, catching some lady fish today. It's all that there was. But hey, let's uh, let's get out of here now. I'll see you guys at the car for a little outro. All right, guys. Well, we're back at the car. Uh, we're getting out of here now. It was a fun day. Quick little trip out here to uh, these mangroves. Uh, just seeing if anything was in the area. Like I said, you guys have seen, I've been catching trout almost every time I come and uh, today I couldn't find them, but it probably, I guarantee you right now, they're gonna start running or maybe today was actually a little too cold. Cause like I said, it's the coldest it's been in a while. I woke up this morning to go to work and it was like 42 degrees or something. And I was like, holy crap. And it felt like it. So yeah. Um, fun little trip quick trip uh you guys seen it was eventful for sure i mean i, I don't want to dwell on it anymore but what a crazy day that's all i gotta say uh <laughs> i don't want you guys to think that happens in florida or all the time here but i do i do want to show you guys what could happen here like they say guys florida is a crazy crazy state and uh you guys seen it today so yeah uh let's uh keep this short and sweet though i hope you guys have a blessed week i hope you guys have the best luck best luck out there fishing um remember guys always stay positive no matter what you guys seen i went through some stuff today but i'm still positive still keeping a a good outlook on it and just like i said i i, I uh, walked away from the situation i don't want nothing to do with that uh i, I don't know what the guy was talking about and uh yeah we're uh, getting out of here now uh but yeah so keep them good vibes going guys but hey until next time i hope to catch you guys back on my channel peace <laughs>